Linda Lituri. I'm from Colorado State University. I'm in the Department of Ecological Science and Sustainability there, and I'm an associate professor. I'm visiting here at the Rachel Carson Center, where I'm a Carson Fellow. And I came here to really work on a comparative study between the Danube and the Colorado. And this comes out of a much bigger study that I'm doing on several different rivers to look at um, how we might consider a bird's eye view of the river. Um, things that have to do with using different types of data and information such as maps, um, aerial photos, uh, satellite images that we might tell a different sort of history of the of the rivers um, by looking at this kind of digital data um, that tells maybe a more uh, a recent way of looking at the river. So for example, we're standing up here on this tower and we can see behind us this river right here. We can track the changes in this river by looking at uh, remotely sensed data like satellite images or air photos and be able to see how the channel has changed and how humans have reorganized the landscape and I think this is very interesting. Hey, what I'm doing at the Rachel Carson Center has two different parts to it. Um, because we have these research seminars we do here, I have one activity I'm working on for that project. And then we also have something that's called a work in progress, where we share something that we've been working on over time and we meet all the fellows together to discuss our, our a particular um, paper we may be writing or something like that. So um, I'm sharing uh, what, I, what we call the work in progress and there's a paper I've written that's talking about the human right to water. Um, everything I do has some uh, something to do with water and also has something to do with social or environmental justice and so the piece I've written has to do with the human right to water and tracking some of the global policy initiatives with respect to that and so that's one activity I'm, I'm working on. The second one has to do with this comparative assessment of the two rivers, the Colorado and the Danube. These are two very different rivers. Um, however, they both span uh, the continent of, you know, obviously the Danube of Europe and uh, the Colorado in the western part of the United States. Um, while they're very different, they have very similar things going on in their landscapes. Um, they both have headwaters where the rivers start with particular stories. Uh, they both have dams or, or diversion structures on their rivers. And they both have deltas that have very particular things going on in them. And so I think this makes an interesting comparison, a compare and contrast of what's going on in these places so we might better understand how we're managing these rivers.